farm here is basically sandy soil. So between the bison and the sandy soil, uh, I have some unique challenges. And so um, out of desperation, to be honest with you, when we had a drought or two and we had some dry summers, I ran out of grass because the, my bison are grass fed. So you can't just feed them corn and oats and that kind of thing. So kind of out of necessity, I had to do something differently because my pastures were not working. Um, so uh, it just happened that about the time I started innovating here with different uh, forages for the summer, I ran across Dr. Newman and that kind of dovetailed into what we're doing here now. Uh, but my solution to my problem was uh, was many fold. It, um, we tried the prairie grass because it's very drought tolerant. Um, it will grow when nothing else will grow. I tried um, hybrid crabgrass, which is out of Oklahoma, which is very drought tolerant and has high tonnage, and animals really like it, and teff grass to the right even further, uh, because there again it's very drought tolerant and it's a warm season annual, and you get good tonnage and the animals really like that. So um, those are the three things I did in this plot. I uh, also, uh, out of necessity, I tried to do sorghum sedan grasses, and uh, that was great tonnage, and it's low protein, which buys in need, high energy, which buys in need, and um, that is very drought tolerant also. So I did that, and then to match that all together, I did oak savanna, and that also, is, while it's low tonnage, it makes for a very diverse diet, and it's green when well, no nothing else will be green. So that all together has kind of put us here where we are today, and see the different stages of growth here as, as we go along and it's interesting to watch how that the, the rain and the heat units and all that stuff makes a difference on what grows here well and what doesn't grow here and again remember it's all on very sandy soil and we're trying to get our soils built up.